Well, hello there. Want to learn how to set up your duck holiday? That's what this video is all about. So his features are that he has four and a half movement, like most musketeer companions, and he also has four range, like most musketeer companions. So he's pretty much a generic musketeer companion. However, he does have this guaranteed epic hit right here called Musketeer's uh, Mastery. The reduction in will for three turns is not all that important because the situation this guy would be used uh, in doesn't call for you know any reduction in will. You're not going to be having any will-based units on your team, or at least not very many, and you're not going to be facing any will-based units, so it's going to be largely irrelevant. But it is a nice, solid hit. It's guaranteed, and it is an epic. Um, that being said, those are his features, and he has a great uh, epic pool, which I'll be getting to uh, right now. So for epic abilities, I'll put this guy with Quick Draw uh, 1, Burst Fire 2, and True Grit 3. This is for PvP. Now, why would I do this? Because True Grit 3 stuns, uh, so it can prevent a Musketeer Companion from chaining further. Uh, it also, uh, you also have this Burst Fire 2 here for the three extra hits you can get with a 35% chance of triggering off of any attack. This guy does. Uh, then you have your Quick Draw because that's what he comes with. I've tried out so many different things, guys. Now we have the Double Tap set up, which is more for PvE, but that does have its weaknesses uh, because Double Tap could make it so that your... Um, your unit ends up attacking a unit that you didn't intend for it to attack. Be very tricky to use. So that's why I go with the True Grit 3, Burst of Fire 2, and Quick Draw. Hopefully that made sense. Now for PvE, Player versus Environment, or Companion Wars, Companion Wars is a mode that I kind of invented where companions face off versus each other, where the pirates just sit in a corner without their weapon or pet. Um, now... Link down below in the description for more details on that. I have a little video about Companion Wars to explain all that. But uh, here's the setup for our Companion Wars and for player versus environment situations. So to maximize the probability of triggering all chains, you will have a Quick Draw, rank 1, and a, and a Overwatch, rank 1. And then you'll have Burst Fire, rank 2, and Double Tap, rank 2. Reason being that you can get full chains from that. Um, so, yeah, those are the two setups, epic-wise, you can put on your uh, Duck Holiday. Now, for talents, tough rank one, tough rank four for the 500 uh, 10 health, and then uh, rough rank four, accurate rank four, and agile rank four. And then the last one you want to put in the dodgy. Now, this is for the True Grit three uh, Duck Holiday for the PVE slash. Companion Wars Duck Holiday, I would actually go for Rank 4 Tough, Rank 4 Rough, Rank 4 Accurate, and Rank 4 Dodgy with the last talent into Agile. Okay? Hopefully that made sense. Now, where does Duck Holiday fit in as a companion? Well, I would ideally go with Exeter, Bonnie Ann, and Chantel in most situations, aside from 1v1s. Uh, but... If you don't have your Eister, I would go Lula Bisque, Bonnie Ann, and Chantel Livingston. Those are all free companions, by the way. But if for some reason you want more damage carry potential, or a True Grit 3 companion, you could sub in this Duck Holiday for Lula Bisque. And this guy is, you know, a great companion when all the other companions... Uh, that I've just mentioned are banned in Companion Wars. Now, in 1v1s versus Buccaneers in particular, you want to use this Ratbeard guy and the, maybe the Contessa. Nazca's good versus Muskets quite often, and this Old Scratch guy is often used in PvE. So this guy has a very small niche to where he's um, actually very good. Um, so do keep in mind, and that's where this uh, Companion... <coughs> It's in. Oh, excuse me. Uh, well, guys, that's pretty much it. I plan on making a guide for each and every companion in this game. We've come a long ways, and I have no plans on stopping. So I'll be testing out some other companions. Let me know down below. 
in the comments what companion you would like me to cover next and I will definitely take that into consideration. Hopefully we can get some more exposure to this game. I'll be putting this on several social medias. Please like, share, um, and of course follow me on all those and hopefully we can revive this game. Thank you so much. It has been your friend and pal Fearsome with yet another Pirate 101 video because goodness knows I love this game. Quack doodle doo and peace out for now. Hey, if you like what you see and you'd like to help support it, do consider joining the Quack Club for some super sweet perks. Just head over to the Fearsome Rubber Decky on YouTube, hit that join button for the low cost of $2. You get access to big Quack perks, which are some amazing emojis and badges, along with some special voting privileges on what content gets uploaded and the streaming schedule. For Epic Quack, you will get access to the priority uh, pet morph perk, which means that I will give you the first chance at morphing pets with me. I have some amazing pets. You can check the description down below to see my pet album. I have pets for just about everything, guys. It's insane. I've got hundreds of pets on every single one of my accounts, and I have the best ones here on display in that pet album that I just told you about. Down below in the description, do check those out. And for the next tier, which is Mega Quack, you can have access to priority PvP teaming. I love to team with you guys as the viewers. However, these people do a little bit more to help support the channel uh, monetarily. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the priority on PvP teaming there. And very soon, we'll have another perk called Super Quack, where I will draw a new profile picture for you. Here's an example of some of my work based off of a description that you send me. So if you're interested in that, uh, do be sure to check out those particular uh, tiers in the Quack Club. Thank you so much for any and all support you give me, including your view. That's pretty much it, guys. Quack-a-doodle-doo, and peace out for now.